fun little thing I've been playing with, um, Pythagorean monochord, better known as a diddly bow. Essentially just a string, guitar string, I've got here, um, put between two points on a bit of wood. You can make them in ten minutes with a couple of nails and that's about it. But I thought to go a bit further and make it a bit fancy. I've always fancy I'd have been a go at doing a scroll in a violin style. So I made a tuning peg for it as well. Usually played using a slide and a pick. Um, Pythagoras was into his harmonics and so on. And I'm about halfway through it. Um, probably spent two or three hours on it so far, but quite a bit on that stupid scrolly bit. Um, but I've hooked it up together at this point just to try out and see what mistakes I've made so far. A few bits of tidying up needed, like I need to do a little notch in there so the string will go through properly. Discovered the, the peg I'd made. Um, I'd, after t trimming it down and trimming it down, discovered I'd made it too loose, so that was flopping out. So I've got a bit of paper behind it now. I think I'd probably have to put a bit of glue on the inside just to thicken it up a bit. Um, Another end of it's got a nail holding the string down, some scraps of brass. Um, the notch I've got cutting the bit of brass was a bit too sharp. When I first put the string on it, the other string, it went bing, snapped it straight clean off. Um, a nice discovery is that I'm not used to stringless in, uh, fretless instruments, and th this will be fretless, is that it's possible to fret this uh, effectively. You, So I'll probably take that down a bit so I can play it as if fretting. Um, and probably put markers in for the. It's quite hard to see where the. Imagine where the fifth and the octave is. Um, so another two or three hours on it. Um, I've put together a pickup which will go in there. Set that in. Got a scrap of copper that I'll make a cover plate for the pickup. And probably fit a jack socket in the back somewhere. Make it electric. Um, if you listen, one problem I've noticed already is that because I made it so thin, it's not very stable, even as it stands, and it's going to be a lot thinner and up at the neck there. Uh, so I might well make a sound box if only just to support it a bit better and so I can play it like that um, yeah and but it's getting there and hear the difference in the resonance on the table, off the table. So, that's it for now. More, to, more tomorrow.